Hi, I'm Ava Cochran, and this is Project Hand in Hand, Bless One, Bless Two. Um, we aim to help pregnant women who suffer from substance use disorder and their babies who suffer from NAS, which is neonatal abstinence syndrome. It's a disease, it's a condition these babies are born with when, when their mother abuses drugs. So far we've held many fundraisers. One of them is a brunch that we held around Christmas time and we raised about $500 and we were able to purchase two Mama Roos with that money. And we also wrote and received a grant from Project, Un from Project Unite for $1,235 and we were able to purchase diapers, swaddlers, and baby wipes. With all of the things that we purchased, we donated to Serenity House and we've been working with Serenity House and Community of Hope and Community of Hope is where they go for rehab and uh, Serenity, Serenity House is where they stay until three months after their baby is born. So we've put together five diaper bags for all of the mothers so whenever they leave the house they'll have things that they need to take care of their babies. We have teamed up with Inez Free Will Baptist and their program Celebrate Recovery. They feed recovering addicts every Tuesday night and they hold a church service for them and we have cooked the dinner for them two times during our project. We hope to do it more. This is a drug deactivation system. You can fill it halfway up with water. You can place 45 pills or six ounces of liquid or six patches in it. Then you zip it up and throw it away. And it just dissolves all the pills. Talk. Talk, about, talk about the baby. Talk about the baby, and I'll hold it up. Um, this is an actual replica of a baby with NAS, neonatal abstinence syndrome. It a baby goes through withdrawals. We have mittens on it because they'll normally scratch and claw its face. This is a baby going through like a seizure, a withdrawal right now. They shake constantly and scream and... We also created an app because women in public ain't going to pick up a brochure because they had the factor of embarrassment. Um, if you get one of our brochures, it actually has the QR code that you can use to download the app. And we, it has updates about our project and everything going on with it. Our app includes many resources for the mothers, such as doctors and places they can go to get items they need, such as baby items, clothes, and food, and anything like that. And also, if you look at the, net, at the name of our project, it's Bless One, Bless Two. By blessing the mother, you're also blessing the baby. We also uh, made... Uh, Food and took it to Honest Free Rural Baptist. Their uh, it's called Ro uh, Road to Recovery. About, did you about how we made the dinner? Did you? Okay. That's fine. Okay. Do you want to talk? Anybody else? What is the next step? The bracelets. You designed them. We have designed bracelets that we are going to give out to all the students at elementary schools. And a student in one of our classrooms has wrote a rap that we are going to record and put on YouTube so that recovering mothers and addicts can listen to it and help them get back on track. Thank you. And that is a Mama Roo. We actually, with our grant money, we bought two of those and donated it to Serenity House. And it swings back and forth and it plays music. You can connect it with your phone. And it's very soothing for the babies with NAS because it mimics the womb. <laughs> we asked 
people at our library to knit mittens and hats that we could donate them to the mothers so the babies won't scratch themselves. There's an example on the doll. <laughs> she did 25 by herself. <laughs> and we were actually also featured on the, um, the holler.org and the Firecast video, so if you haven't watched that, you can go to www.theholler.org. Also, none of this would have been uh, possible without our coaches, Brenda Dyer and Payne Burton. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any questions? <laughs> Do you want to tell about whenever they came to talk to us? About? We had um, Project Unite actually come to talk to us, and they put together a big slideshow, and we sh they showed all the symptoms of NAS, the ongoing effects of NAS also. And we also had a meeting with our family resource director, who also gave us a little bit of input on NAS. The NAS rates in Kentucky and West Virginia have nearly tripled in the past 10 years, so we thought we would do our best to help with that. It's gotten so bad that at Cabell Huntington Hospital, they were filling up the NICU, so they had to make a whole other NICU just for babies born with NAS. We thought it was too serious for an issue because, I mean, we're just in seventh and eighth grade and we thought, what could we really do to help? But then we found out about the programs, Community of Hope and Serenity House, and we thought there was really something we could do to help these programs. We were very intimidated also when we first started out the project because we didn't really know how we could help besides raising awareness. But awareness, raising awareness is really the most important thing you can do because you're letting people know that this is really a serious issue in your community.